the commissioning of facilities, plants, and equipment is really important in the pharmaceutical industry because the commissioning is what proves that the facilities and systems or equipment are fit for intended use or purpose or qualify to support the commercial manufacturing of the drugs. If you can support the commercial manufacturing of the drugs, then you make drugs meeting their quality aspects, and that's going to make people better in the long run. If you look at the terms qualification and verification, people sometimes confuse what they mean. In the new ISPE baseline guide five, uh, we've sort of tried to clear up that confusion. When we talk about qualification, we talk about an integrated process where we're doing commissioning and qualification and the end state is fitness for use or qualified at the end of the process. Verification, uh, we define that as the process of testing the equipment and documenting the test results that get you to the qualified state at the end of the process. A key factor to keep in mind when you want to implement risk management approach commissioning qualification is you need the supporting quality systems in order to, to be able to do that. Uh, companies currently don't have quality systems, the majority of them, that support risk-based approaches. So if they're going to incorporate the QRM process into their CNQ, then they need to make the requisite changes in their quality systems. That's going to, going to include SOPs, templates, and different tools. Uh, there's a common misconception on commissioning qualification that there are two different processes. Actually, there's, they're the same process. You have to think of it in the context of when you're manufacturing a drug, the equipment has to run 100% of the time. If you look at, this, at the sophistication and the operational aspects of that equipment, only 10% of it, say, has a direct impact on pro product quality. But if the 100% doesn't work, the 10% doesn't work either. And it's the good engineering practices that are applied uh, through the project execution process that make sure we have equipment that can be commissioned, can operate 100%, and therefore also meet the quality aspect.